Hello and welcome to Gemonism Total Nerd channel. We're back into Star Maid and today I will show you how to set up the new elevators. So let's get going. We are in uh, gravity of course. I'm gonna get in this building. So as you know we created elevators and now I will show you how to add elevators. So what you need to do, you need to scroll to GHI interior, then we have elevator. You begin with placing the base, so uh, we can place the elevator base, uh, I don't know. Here we can connect it to the meeting room just for fun. Okay, now the movement makes it hard, okay, like this. Now base is placed, you can see the base uh, elevator uses uh, standard armor. And then you want to have, well, we will have our first stop where the elevator would stop. And you can't spin individual modules around like this, then you have to spin all of them around to a certain angle because we had to opt for a design where uh, um, the rail is not in the center. And then we have two different types of shafts. We have the standard shaft, which looks like this. And we also have a observer um, shaft, which is, well, a bit observatory thing. You can look we can see much from it, it looks cool. And then lastly, we have the engine compartment, which is the top part. All right, so how do you control your elevator? Well, um, unfortunately, uh, I wanted to make a more simple link up, but it wasn't possible uh, to keep the functionality. Um, it simply wasn't possible um, to make a nice elevator that is still simple and easy to set up, uh, but it's straightforward at least. Okay, first of all, this is the speed controller. You need to shift connect up the whole rod so you can select your custom speed for the elevator. Secondly, you see these are rails, these are rails. This means that these buttons are connected to the buttons with the rails. For each station, you gotta connect up, a bottom up and bottom down to the shaft. And you might need to do this on the other side as well if you will be using both controls. And you need to do this, shift C, shift uh, C, shift V, connect up for each of the stops be sure to select the things that have the rail included. Like that one, whoops, not that one, like all of them. And these ones, whoops, uh, these ones, great. So now we're there, now we can send the elevator thing down. Um, now you want to click create docking and you want to set the core just uh, under it. Just have the core arrow upwards, great. Any name, yeah. Now you can click middle mouse to jump to it and, uh, you know, we might need to disconnect it and connect it later if we want to have a completely snug uh, fit. Otherwise we'll get some gaps. But um, if you want to have the easy way out, I'll teach you how to make the almost snug fit elevator shaft right now. And then you just do like this. like this, and that's perfect. Now you can pretend you have this for aesthetic reasons and stuff, and that's cool. Let's have a little uh, transparent block there. OK, 
Okay, anyways, um, now your elevator should be set up. We're still in gravity, which is great. So we come from the meeting room, we just want to go to the elevator, and we click any of the up buttons, and it will go up in full speed and automatically stop until the next stop. Then we can just uh, click upwards again, and it will go upwards into the observatory places and stop here. Perfect. You know, it's really straightforward and simple to use and you can customize the speed just with activating or deactivating a couple of modules. So it's really uh, compatible or really... Um, I think it's pretty user friendly anyways. So, well, anyways I hope you enjoyed this little elevator template pack now included into my big Gmodism Heavy Industries templates. So, well, I guess that's that. This is Gmodism Total Notary Channel officially signing out. See you around. And see you next time, I really hope. Anyways, like the video if you liked it. I should stop. St I should stop stalking, I was almost saying, I should stop talking for this time, so bye bye.